Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to discuss James Madison and their upset win over Wisconsin. Frankly, they led early and they kind of dominated all the way through the game. Really, really dominant performance by James Madison, who is the Big Ten killers for sure. Michigan State early in the year and the Wisconsin right now. We're going to discuss one concept they employed. Let's go. So the first concept, we're going to, or the only talk concept we're going to talk about, is how they ran this high screen pick and roll. The reason they did this was to try and target the Wisconsin big in the pick and roll and try and get advantage from that situation. Okay, so we get downhill. So the first thing is we have one person over here, which means there's one person to tag the roller. It makes it much more difficult for the big to pick who they're going to guard, essentially. So up here, he's essentially has to close out to two now, so five is no longer the picture. So you have two players and you have one player for the big to guard. And so a little shot fake, beautiful shot fake, gets the big in the air and then a nice drop down to three and there's no longer anyone there and easy flush at the rim. Great awareness, great pass, great shot fake, fantastic offense. Again, we can see them coming down. We can see them getting to the ball screen here. Okay, right here, again, we see one person over here. This makes it so two is the only one that can tag this and puts a difficult spot, which essentially just puts even more pressure on the big. Okay, so we get the result is a floater right here, and although I'm not the biggest fan of a floater, this does make the big respect you more as you're coming downhill at him. Again, we can see the next possession. This time we have nobody over here, which adds just a little slightly different dynamic. It's probably slightly worse because you can more have have more help from the weak side. However, Grand Canyon has or James Madison has a great counter to that, which is when they help too much, you punish them by having a great kick out. And the nice thing here is as this happens, we see two comes down, so he takes his defender with him, and then this player rotates over farther to make it so this is just a a little bit farther of a closeout, and you're not closing out to where you thought your player was, but instead to a slightly different direction. This is absolutely brilliant coaching. This is something you have to have worked on a lot in practice in order to have it to be perfect, and a great pass right on target. Like, that's a beautiful pass, beautiful execution all the way around, and it leads to a wide open three. Final possession, same thing we see ball screen. Hey, with this side, again, you have one play over here, making it hard for him to tag. Hey, he has to guard two and also help with 15. And this, I've heard too, is referred to quitting in jail. Whatever it is, is getting this player behind you, which creates just a little bit more pressure on the big because now you don't have this player getting in front as well. Great drop off, I like it. Hey, and then I love this right here. Just calm, be patient with it. Wisconsin's slightly out of sorts. They have to recover back to their individual. You have the original guard who drove, drove and that is now on the outside. And so five sees him out of the, his peripheries. He's like, oh, 13's out there. I gotta make sure that's not an open pass. And a great, this is such a high level pass from this post player right here. Just an easy drop off. But that's so difficult to see when there's bodies flying around. That's a high level pass right here for another easy finish for James Madison. Overall, great game by James Madison.